trust your first impression. What do you see down there below you? What do you see? I think I see some brown huts. I see some brown huts. Mm -hmm. Describe them for me. What are they made out of? They're just kind of wood. Mm-hmm. And there's dirt. It's kind of like in a forest. Mm-hmm. Look down at your feet. What do you see down there? Can you see your feet? I'm not sure. Mm hmm Do you feel like you have a body there? Trust your first impression. What do I you see think? a little boy, but I'm not sure if it's me or mm -hmm. if it's somebody else. Okay. So let's see this little boy and describe him for me. What does he look like? He's cute. Mm -hmm. He has a round head. He just looks like a regular... Mm -hmm. Not like old or anything. Mm -hmm. Regular plain clothes. Mm -hmm. Like not olden day clothes. Mm -hmm. What does he look like? What color is his skin? It's white. Mm -hmm. He has brown hair. Mm -hmm. Bangs. What are you getting from this little boy? What's he doing there? Really sure. Mm -hmm. Now you see, you told me you're seeing huts. Is this little boy near the huts? Not sure if those two are connected or not. Okay. So what are you seeing now, for sure? The boy? Well, I shifted back to the huts now. Okay, let's go back to the huts and see what you find there. Tell me all about it. Are you seeing it as an observer? Or do you feel that you have a body there? So the huts are kind of like, I think they're on like stilts or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's in a forest. Okay. You can see a bunch of green trees. Mm -hmm. Try to sense the feeling of the the temperature there, how does it feel? Feels nice. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you're alone or are there others around you? I think that's what's confusing. I can't mm -hmm. sense any people there. That's fine. That's fine. Just allow the images to come. Get yourself acclimated there and look around and sense if you can move if you can walk around look around you tell me everything that you sense or feel or see The more you talk, the more you'll see. Okay, well... Mm -hmm. I do see a bird, but I don't know if it's related. Mm -hmm. In a tree. Okay, tell me about this bird. What does it it's look like? It's like multicolored. Mm -hmm. How big is this bird? It's pretty big. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like got reds and blues and green. Mm-hmm. What do you find interesting about this bird? Focus on it.
connect with the bird telepathically. What do you sense from this bird? It's like morphing. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. What's it morphing into? It's kind of like a person. Mm-hmm. And a bird. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. I don't know if it's just like a abstract thing. It keeps kind of... It's like an Indian guy, and then it... Mm-hmm changes into the bird. So as you're watching it, you can slow down the progress of the change. Just slow down the morphing so that you can f focus in on one of them. And describe one of them fully. Which one did you choose? There's a guy. Mm -hmm. He's an old man. An old man. Mm -hmm. He's an Indian and he looks serious. Mm -hmm. And he has a bunch of feathers. Kind of like a headdress type thing. Mm -hmm. Can you get a sense of what this Indian is doing there? You say he looks serious. Okay, now I can see him. He's in front of a fire. Mm hmm. Tell me more. I have a good feeling about him. Mm hmm. Explain that for me. What do you feel from him? Well, I guess he's just a good being. Mm -hmm. My heart is kind of feeling good. Mm -hmm. What are you getting from him? He's just this wise old Indian guy. Mm -hmm. Very connected. As you look at this Indian guy, do you feel that you have a body as you look at him? Sense yourself. Are you observing him or are you him? I think I'm observing him. Mm -hmm. I think I'm a girl. Mm -hmm. So acclimate yourself to that body of this girl. And as you put on this body, I want you to sense who you are, what you look like, and your relationship to this old man. What do you look like? I kind of look like me. Mm-hmm. How are you dressed there? I'm younger, though. Mm-hmm. And I think I have braids. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Are you part of his people? I'm not sure. Mm hmm I see him at the fire. Mm hmm I want you to connect with him telepathically. Heart to heart. 
and you'll be able to feel his feelings and read his thoughts. Find out what he's doing there. Trust your first impression, the first thing that comes into your mind. Who is he? Ask him who he is. And listen for the answer. I got the sense that he taught me about the earth. Mm-hmm. Just the love of the earth. Mm-hmm. Just the feeling of the connection with the earth. Mm-hmm. Ask him who he is in connection to you. He's like a teacher. Mm -hmm. Is he a guide? He might be. Mm -hmm. He just has this He's got this connection with the earth. Mm -hmm. He's like a guardian type. Yes. Ask him why he first appeared as a bird. I don't know, he's just sitting there on a cliff now. Mm hmm. Are you still observing him? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. He's like in these red mountains and he has this big headdress with feathers. Mm -hmm. He has a spear. He just has this look like he's looking out, but you can feel like infinity from mm -hmm. him. Like this ancient feeling. Mm -hmm. Ask him why he's showing you this. It's weird because he's not talking. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get things from his mouth. You're going to connect with your thoughts. Everything is telepathic. Just ask him with your mind and you'll get the thoughts. What are the first thoughts that come into your mind? What is he teaching you? I guess he's reminding me of my connection to the earth. Mm -hmm. Ask him why he's reminding you of that. When so many times you want to leave the earth. I guess it's because I secretly love the earth. Mm -hmm. I like the feeling of the dirt and the mountains and the, the feeling of it. Mm -hmm. There's just the natural world, the feeling of the nature. It's part of me. Mm -hmm. Ask him which elements 
of the earth you're most connected with. All of them, like mm-hmm. the dirt and the air and the water. Mm-hmm. And he showed you the fire too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ask him what else he's here to teach you. It's kind of like a grittiness. Mm-hmm. A grittiness. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Like a. There's something enjoyable about the grittiness. Mm-hmm. The density of it. The being grounded in it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's powerful. Mm-hmm. What are you supposed to be doing on the earth? Feeling my connection with the earth. Mm-hmm. What else would he like to teach you today? Ask him to show you more. What do you see? He's showing me that by kind of like observing the way nature Mm -hmm. does things, That's how I'm supposed to be blending Mm -hmm. when I'm living. Are you doing that now? Some days. Mm -hmm. What in particular is he focusing on for you to look at? There's like a dance, like it almost doesn't matter what you're doing. It's just, there's a flow when you're connected, Mm -hmm. but you're not just connected to the light. You're connected to the earth. Yes. And with the nature and with the natural elements. It's like a flow. Mm -hmm. And that's the way life's supposed to be Mm -hmm. in its natural state. Mm -hmm. It gets kind of out of whack because everyone's doing all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. So what what is his message to you as a person living on this earth? I think he's trying to show me to stop focusing on all of what everyone else is doing. Mm-hmm. And get back to this connection, mm-hmm. the flow. Go with the flow of nature. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like this kind of empowering kind of... It doesn't matter what everyone else is doing. You're connected in in this flow of the natural way. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be watching this flow? It feels... It's kind of magical. Mm-hmm. 
What are you getting from it? It's just really beautiful. Mm -hmm. But it's simple. Mm -hmm. It's not supposed to be a big struggle. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're supposed to be learning? To be at one with nature. Not sure. Mm -hmm. Is he still there? Mm, it's kind of fading. Mm -hmm. So tell me what comes up next. Move to the next relevant scene. Could be in this lifetime or another lifetime. I think I need to go to the restroom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Be there now. Are you indoors or outdoors? How does it feel? I think I'm at a lake. Mm-hmm. I'm at a lake. Are you alone or with others? Look around. What do you sense? It's another kind of like forest. Mm hmm So I'd like you to connect and see if you can see a body this time. Look down at your feet. What do you sense? you feel like you're male or female energy? I think I'm female. Mm-hmm. How old do you feel there? Sixteen. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. I think there's a lot of people this time. Mm -hmm. They're just people kind of living in a village. Describe this village for me. What does it look like? We're kind of like near a lake and there's trees. Mm -hmm. It's like another Indian type thing. Yes. There's like teepees and stuff. Mm-hmm. There's fire. There's kids running around. Mm hmm Take a look at these kids. How are they dressed? Are they dressed at all? They're wearing like some brown type. I don't know what to call it. Mm hmm Are they skins? Something like that, yeah. Mm hmm Look down in your own body. What do you feel you're dressed like? I guess I have the same type of thing. Mm -hmm. Just like a dress. I have black hair. Mm -hmm. Dark skin. Dark skin. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Are you carrying anything? Holding anything? Mm 
What do you sense? Hmm. What are you observing? Um, it's kind of fading a little bit. There's just kids. <laughs> mm -hmm. What do you think that you do there? Are you watching these kids? Kind of, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just kind of keeping an eye on them. Mm -hmm. it feels good. Mm -hmm. It feels like a good, happy kind of village. Okay. So I want you to leave that scene and let's move to another scene in that same lifetime. Close that page behind and let's move to when something is happening, something important. Tell me where you are. Where are you? Not sure. Mm -hmm. Describe what you see or feel. Are you indoors or outdoors? Use all your senses. I think I'm swimming. Mm -hmm. Just in the lake. Mm -hmm. Are you by yourself or with others? It's weird. It's just like there's weird abstract images mm -hmm. that kind of morph. Okay, that's fine. So as they morph, tell me as they morph. What did they morph into? So I was just swimming, but then it like morphed into like this dragon. Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's find out why this dragon is there. Are you watching the dragon? I think I like turned into it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Tell me more about this dragon. And where are you? Hmm. There's like a lake hmm. and there's all these stars and it's swimming. Mm-hmm. The dragon is swimming? Yeah, but just, I think it's just me, but I just, mm -hmm. maybe I had that idea of mm -hmm. the dragon. Mm-hmm. Tell me more about that. How does the dragon feel? It's just this kind of like majestic kind of animal. Mm -hmm. Is it inside the water? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Describe yourself as a dragon. It's got like big eyes and flowy kind of hair. Mm -hmm. Big teeth. Mm -hmm. Just kind of swimming around. What color are you? It's like blues and greens. Mm hmm. And you say it has flowy hair? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
How does the water feel on your skin? Mm. Or are you in the water? Yeah, I was kind of sitting up now. Mm hmm. Look around you and see if there's any fa anything familiar to you. What does this place look like? I don't know, I'm not really getting anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. Let's close that scene behind you. Just close it and just allow your mind to go drifting and floating to another time and another place. Just drift and float until you stop at the next appropriate time and place and allow the images to just flow. Be there. See what you see. Trust your impressions as they come. Allow the images to just pop up. What do you sense? Do you feel you're indoors or outdoors? I think it's outside. Mm hmm Is it daytime or nighttime? It's daytime and I think I see some mountains. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Use all of your senses. Just allow yourself to relax into it. Breathe into it. I just, I think, getting impressions of being in these primitive cultures. Mm -hmm. Just always kind of like living in nature and mm -hmm. connected and mm -hmm. it's very different. Each scene is very different. Mm -hmm. What are you getting from this one? It's kind of, I mean, they're the same but different. Mm -hmm. they're, they're different than how things are now. Yes. They're just very primitive but simple but so really connected to the earth and mm -hmm. just everything's simple, everything's taken care of, everything's kind of provided for and comfortable. Mm -hmm. All the elements are being used and mm -hmm. everyone's kind of happy. Yeah. So as you're getting these impressions, what messages you're getting from that? What's the overall theme that you can apply to this lifetime? I think the theme is that we're so far removed from what used to be simple enjoyment of life. We've like overcomplicated everything. Mm -hmm. But before it was just, you know, you just lived in village, everything was kind of 
taken care of. It was family and but just really connected to the earth, that mm-hmm. kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Just seems kind of corrupted now. So what do you see as your as you're there? What flashes in front of you? I can see the Indian guy again. Mm-hmm. What message does he have now? He just seems really powerful mm-hmm. and wise, but like quiet. Mm-hmm. Like he's going to continue with that energy, regardless of what other people are doing. Mm-hmm. Is there anything else that he wants to teach you? What is he projecting to you? I guess... that that's kind of all we can do, that we can project this kind of energy. Mm-hmm. But people are going to do what they're going to do. Mm-hmm. Good. Ask him as if he is your guide. What do you get from him? I guess he's helping me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I want you to extend gratitude to him. Thank him for the help he's given you today. I know that the Higher Self could have shown Rachel many different lifetimes today. Why did you show her all of these primitive settings? Because she's complicating everything. Mm Has she been in these settings before, in other lifetimes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Who was the Indian she kept seeing? Her spirit guide. Mm -hmm. He's very powerful. Has he saved her life before? Many times. Mm -hmm. He's not letting her check out yet, is he? Nope. What is the purpose of her being in this life? Acceptance. What kind of acceptance? To see the beauty. Mm -hmm. See the beauty in the transient. Has she been doing that? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. 
What does she need to know more in order to fulfill this purpose? There's a lot of resistance. Mm -hmm. What's causing that resistance? She doesn't like to suffer. Mm -hmm. We talked a lot about suffering. Why does she choose suffering? It's just part of how things are. Mm -hmm. Does she need to suffer? Not necessarily. Mm -hmm. What can you tell her about that? She doesn't really suffer that much. <laughs> so she's just watching as an outsider? As an observer to other suffering? I guess she sees other people suffering and it's none of her business. Mm -hmm. She should just focus on herself. Okay. She had thought that to know God was her purpose. What would you say about that? Is that a complicated one? Sort of. Mm -hmm. To know, it's kind of like to, to know God, you need to know, to know existence too. Mm -hmm. It's not just white light. It's everything. Mm-hmm. Is that what the guide was showing her? Yeah, that there's kind of like this flow mm -hmm. in and out of everything. It's like the wind. Mm-hmm. It goes through everything. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Does she have a particular mission that she came here to do this lifetime? Or did she come to just experience? She's trying to figure out what she likes to do. Okay. Good. She wants to know how she can continuously experience her connection with the Divine Source regardless of any circumstance. It's complicated. <laughs> it's just trying to complicate things. Mm -hmm. Is that part of the answer? You just need to be part of the flow? Just seeing acceptance. Mm -hmm. First, start with acceptance. Mm -hmm. And then? Just start with life. Mm -hmm. Stop avoiding life. She seems to have tried to avoid it a few times. Is she over that now? Anything could happen. Mm -hmm. Why is she so resistant to life, even though she has so many blessings? She 
doesn't want to go through anything. Mm -hmm. She just wants things to be simple. Mm -hmm. Just like what she saw. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But why does she want to go? have to go through this? She keeps begging God to stop reincarnating on Earth. There's like a conflict because there's a lot of beauty here mm -hmm. and that to experience the elementals you need to be on the earth mm -hmm. but it's gotten really complicated to live life here mm -hmm. so it's a conflict I see if you want to come here you have to everything has changed yes so you can't have the simplicity and experience the elementals anymore. You have to find ways to do it with all the chaos. Mm -hmm. What would you suggest? She does it, but it's just in small amounts of times. Okay. Does she need to spend more time in nature? I know she's just moving closer to the water, for example. Would you suggest more weekend trips to the woods or forest? That would be nice. Mm -hmm. So she can connect with her guide? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Could you tell her how many lifetimes she's lived here on Earth? The first thing was thousands. Mm -hmm. Has she lived on other planets? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is Earth her favorite? No, <laughs> but she likes it. Mm -hmm. What does she consider her home planet to be? Something came, but I'm not sure if it's right. What is it? How is it spelled? I don't even know if it's a planet. Mm hmm. It's like Orion or something. Mm hmm. What was the purpose of her reincarnating? at this time on this planet, is there something going on that she chose to be here for? She came with Rama. Mm -hmm. Her teacher? Mm-hmm. A mm -hmm. bunch of people came with him. And what was the purpose of being here at this time? Why was Rama here? By the animation? I think there was a time where they, there were a bunch of people trying to shift the energy. Mm-hmm. And she was part of it? Mm -hmm. There were just a bunch of people mm -hmm. trying to bring some light. Just a more beautiful consciousness. Mm-hmm. Did she choose to be part of this? Did she volunteer for this? 
She went because Roma went. Okay. And they were just one one group of people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They all came here together. Mm-hmm. Okay. What about now that Rama is on the other side of the veil? Well, maybe that's why she has a hard time. Mm-hmm. She lost her mentor. Or was he part of her soul group? They hang out together, mm -hmm. like a big group of people, because they have, they do a lot of the th same things together. Mm -hmm. Does she do this when she sleeps? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does she connect with Rama in her sleep? Mm -hmm. Is there anything that Rama would like to say today to her? Stop sniveling. It's kind of a joke, though. Mm -hmm. What would he like to tell her? Just kind of just making fun of me for doing this. Mm -hmm. What does he say about your questions about reincarnating on the earth? What would he like to say about that? That I'm taking everything too seriously. Mm -hmm. Trying to figure out stuff that's not supposed to be figured out. Pretty much just saying there's infinity, and we do what we you know we do what we want. Mm -hmm. It's all just a fun. It's fun mm -hmm. for us. So choosing to reincarnate was your choice? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know it would be so hard. Mm -hmm. But that's supposed to be part of the fun of it. Mm -hmm. The challenge of it? Mm -hmm. Everyone's in it together. It's like a big soup. Mm -hmm. And everyone's having the crap time. So what words of wisdom does Rama want to leave you with? What does he say? Fuck up, kid. <laughs> What do you have to tell him? I love you. Mm -hmm. Is he guiding you from the other side? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is there anything particular that you would like him to help you with at this time? Everything. Mm -hmm. What does he say? He said he's sending me light. Very good. Very good. I'd like to thank Rama for being here today. And let me speak with the higher self again. Has Rachel had any alien encounters? She is an alien. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more. Is that why she feels so weird here? She's from another planet. Mm -hmm. She hangs out with these souls. Mm hmm. But they're not tied to a planet. They can go other places. Mm -hmm. But they like to do the same things together. Mm -hmm. Like music and... Computers. Mm -hmm. 
being that she's not of this world, is she does she have any special abilities? She has a lot of light. Mm -hmm. She can see the light and feel the light. Mm -hmm. Does she have special healing abilities? She could go that way if she wants to. Mm -hmm. Has she used that before? She's used like stones, crystals. Mm -hmm. How is the selenite helping her today? Hmm. It's kind of grounding. Mm -hmm. Connecting. Mm -hmm. Is this a cell stone that she should use in the future to help her ground? She likes the quartz crystals. Mm -hmm. they, they have like a feeling. Mm -hmm. Each one has a different feeling yeah. to it. Are these stones alive? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you sense what the selenite she's holding, what those have chosen to do in my practice. Can you connect with them? They're like harnessing, they're like connecting mm -hmm. from above mm -hmm. and below. Good. So they kind of anchor the person? Yeah, it's like a big... cord. Mm-hmm. Tethering from above and below? Mm-hmm. Good. Good. Continue her questions. She, she asked this one again. How can the humans continue to evolve without having to experience so much suffering and pain? It's not really her business. <laughs> the humans are doing what they're doing, and they make their own choices. Okay. So keep her nose out of other people's problems. Mm hmm Okay. Is there, are there any soul contracts that have caused her or others any pain or suffering? I think she got confused and thought maybe there were. Mm -hmm. Maybe but, with her parents or... Yeah, but there's nothing really there. Mm -hmm. There's just... She has people, like humans, that she's interacting with on Earth, mm -hmm. but her soul group is with Rama. Mm -hmm. So she's not really tied. She can do what she wants. Okay. She's a free agent alien? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> she can go anywhere she wants, not connected to anybody. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. She'd like to help other people, and she wants to know if she should switch her careers from computer programming to something else hands-on. Maybe massage therapy, hypnotherapy. How can... What would you suggest? She should try it and see if she likes it. Mm -hmm. It's there as an option. Any one more than the other? They both kind of lead to the same. It's a different It's a different path. Mm -hmm. It's just another option of how to live life. Mm -hmm. But it's a totally different side of life. Yes. Well, she'd be connecting with people more than she is with computers. Yeah, it would probably be good for her. Mm -hmm. What happens when one sits in programs for so many years without 
doing human interaction. Just getting bored. Mm -hmm. It's fun because it's channeling energy. Mm -hmm. It's accessing other dimensions. Yes. But it can get tiring. Okay. Has she done any type of computer programming in different lifetimes? She told me that she had some sort of visions of her doing program programming, but without having to be tethered to a computer. That thoughts would be able to manipulate the computer. Does long time ago there were lo these computers where you can just it's like crystal stuff mm -hmm. crystal energy and computers and telepathy it's, it's really just energy it's like it's like manipulating energy mm -hmm. so things were more more malleable mm -hmm. back then. This is on Earth, correct? Mm hmm What happened to those computers? It's all gone now. Mm hmm It's just it's just the way things go. Mm-hmm. It's all destroyed. I hear we've been reset many times on Earth. Yeah, it's just kind of like a cycle. Mm -hmm. Ages. Is this in the time of Atlantis? Or before? Could be. Mm -hmm. Good. As we talk about her trying other practices, how can she support her lifestyle financially doing all this? She'll find a way. <laughs> okay. Not to worry about it. She'll probably have to work pretty hard. Mm hmm. And both for a while. Mm hmm. Who can help her with that on the, from the spiritual realm? Brahma. Brahma. Okay. A guide. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that she's done in her lifetime that has caused other people pain and suffering that she needs to forgive herself for? She should probably let go of past relationships, mm -hmm. romantic relationships, just forgive them. Mm -hmm. It's not a big deal though. Mm -hmm. So can you go in there and release that from her? Yes. Thank you. I want Rachel to go through her emotional body and just pull out all of those thorns that have hurt her and hurt others. Pull those all out. And just hand them over to the universe. And allow the light to heal all those scars. Feel the light going through and healing all of that as you release it one by one. And as her higher self, tell me how that feels for her. Feels good. Good. Is there anything that's blocking her now from expressing herself? 
Can you check her body and see if there's any blockages there? Yeah, there's some resistance for basic resistance to life. Mm-hmm. Why is she resisting life so much? Not sure. Mm-hmm. Is it a fear? Maybe a little bit not wanting to get stuck. Mm-hmm. Not wanting to get too involved. Mm -hmm. Making sure she can get out. <laughs> She's tried to get out before. It doesn't work. She's got great stories. Yeah, I mean, it was her choice to be in a relationship. Mm -hmm. and she wanted to. Yes. But she she didn't fully commit a hundred percent because she wants to be free to, you know, not not get stuck here. Yeah. So, what would you like to tell her about that? Does one have to do with the other? She's just cutting herself off from experience. Then. Mm -hmm. It won't prevent her from going mm -hmm. to engage in life. So would you suggest that she engage herself more in the human experience? Be present in the now? Mm. It's a balance. Mm -hmm. She should be balanced about it. Okay. Some compromise. But stay yourself. Mm -hmm. Be authentic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't give up who you are. Mm -hmm. Okay. How does she connect more with her spirit guides and with her higher self? They're there. They're there. She just has to let herself feel them. Mm -hmm. Now we were talking about that before we went into hypnosis, that there are many times that the higher self speaks through the person when you least expect it. How can she be in that flow even easier when she and the higher self can be one? The things she does, she already does it. Mm -hmm. The meditation? Working out. Mm -hmm. Taking hikes in nature. Mm -hmm. And just, you can just feel it's in the air. Mm -hmm. The light is already there. But you have to connect to it. Mm -hmm. It's part of breathing. But you're not always conscious of breathing. Mm -hmm. So we need to spend more time being consciously connected to the breath? Yep. Okay, good. So when someone works out, and I would think they work out hard, you really have to concentrate on your breath. Yeah, it's like a deepening connection or deepening feeling, mm -hmm. feeling your connection. Mm -hmm. Kind of going into yourself. Okay. 
and being calm. Mm -hmm. And not worrying about the suffering of others. Yeah, not get too complicated. Good. Good. Are there any attachments that she has that she needs to release today? Would you go through her body and do a scan? See if there's any health issues, any friends that need to be guided away. How does she look? She looks good. She looks good. Mm -hmm. Would you mind doing a scan of my body today? And tell me how it looks. It looks good. Maybe some water. Mm -hmm. It's there's a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. So. Like some dark energies you have to deal with. Yes. And if you use water afterwards, mm -hmm. that helps. Good. Drinking water? Drinking water and cleaning like showers and baths mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to wash away the dark energy that you have to encounter. Good. Good. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Is there anything that I could have asked today that she didn't ask or that we need to address in this session today? No. Nope. No. One last question. Why did you bring her here today? From your perspective. To remind, to remind her of her connections. Mm -hmm. Kind of to see it's, there's more going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It seems long, but it won't be. Mm -hmm. Any final message for her? Or for any th anybody else. Keep on trucking. Is that from Rama? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Are we complete today? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Welcome back. <laughs> Keep on trucking. <laughs> Very profound. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so, what Ooh. do you think? Wow. That was great. How did it feel? It feels a lot lighter. Yeah? Yeah. You're not feeling that heavy load? <laughs> not as much, no. Yeah. Yeah, now you know the simplicity of it. You were shown some really beautiful scenes mm -hmm. of just living in nature, and I think that's probably what was getting you kind of down. Mm. <laughs> you said you're an alien. <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> yeah, just here. Was, How does that feel? Well, it just, I guess I sort of felt like, yeah, I mean, it's not even aliens. It's yeah, just like spirits yeah. that are other places. Yes. Just like we are here. Yeah, we're all aliens. <laughs> <laughs> it's very we just weird. just happen to be, you know, here on a human body, that's all. 
yeah, it's more just like spirits mm -hmm. traveling around in the universe. Yeah. But it's not as heavy as I thought. Yeah. Like a shift in the world or really mm -hmm. having to do all this stuff. It's just people or beings came in mm -hmm. to shift the energy, but it's not a big deal whether humans choose this way or that way or they destroy themselves. It's really, it's not a big deal. It's just going to be regenerated mm -hmm. and it can go whatever way. Mm -hmm. It's not a big deal. So how did it feel to be in hypnosis? It felt... It was a little tough at the beginning because mm -hmm. the images weren't... There were images there. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't necessarily connect them all, and yeah. they were kind of morphing right. into things. Mm -hmm. That was interesting. And I, bird. Yeah, I couldn't really tell what it was trying to... Mm -hmm. And then I was looking at the Indian guy, and I was trying to have him tell me something. Mm -hmm. But he wasn't talking. He was just he was just being himself right. and sort of by showing me how his energy is. Projecting. He's too. kind of... But it's sort of different. Like, sometimes you can use telepathy, like in dreams. Yeah. Beings can communicate thoughts and feelings and images right. and stuff to you and he wasn't and you get them but he was just there as a presence Being. and he was doing he was just showing me himself yeah. he wasn't giving me a direct message mm. so it was weird it wasn't so i was trying to pull it out of him <laughs> <laughs> and he's like no you just have to be you have right. to just so, be here and now so i he was you know what he was sort of just um having me get the lesson yeah. instead of him giving me yes. that lesson. It was pretty good though. It was pretty powerful. In the end, I guess it was, it was good. It was just hard to communicate it <laughs> because I just tried it. It would be easy if he just said this, 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 yeah. this, and then I could repeat this, this, mm -hmm. and this, which it wasn't like that. Yeah. It was just a feeling yeah. and sort of weird, but but it wasn't what I would expect from a spirit guide. Yeah. A spirit guide, I expected to see like five or six people mm -hmm. and for them to like be different and then to have ways that they're helping me. But in but, this case, this is what he was teaching you in this one, is yeah. that life is simple. Mm -hmm. You just have to be, you know? And this is... Right. You're a part of the earth. I mean, he, he, you said a lot of things that were really beautiful. You like the grittiness of the earth. Yeah. You like the feeling of it. You just have to kind of balance it out. Yeah. Spend more time in nature and not focus on anybody else's issues. Yeah. It's not your problem. It's like, it's not a good business. <laughs> I guess that's true. Your higher true. self is kind of like slapping you on that one. It's like, get your nose out of their business. <laughs> yeah. I guess you can get sort of, you yeah. know, all serious about all that mm -hmm. but it's their choice mm -hmm. they can do whatever they want to do yeah and it's your choice to do whatever you want in your life too yeah so Pretty i guess cool. i don't have to save anybody no no you They'll just do whatever have to have fun and rama was seemed like <laughs> he was enjoying the interaction yeah it was sort very of very lighthearted. making fun of it yeah <laughs> Get over, get over yourself, right? It's not that. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> That's great. So, do you rec recommend this to others? I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this something that you would want to share or keep private? I definitely can't show my face. Mm -hmm. You don't have to. You don't have to share this. It was kind of cool, but that's maybe I have to watch it first. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. There's no. Absolutely no commitment here. You don't yeah. have to do anything. Uh, it's it's a message for you, and it was a good session. If you feel that's something that others can learn from, you know, basically it was the simplicity of life. Yeah. Cool. Mm. Good. How do you feel? Pretty good. Good. Excellent. All right. There we go. 
That's pretty much close, right? Yes. Okay. I got to get up because I'm so <laughs> short. So we're here in Los Angeles. We just had a great session. I'm Alva Wyman. And uh, if we decide to show this, <laughs> you can book a session with me at albawyman.com. Thank you very much for Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye.